Hi, first graders. This is Mrs. Queering. Today, I'd like to start sharing a book with you called Statues and Monuments. And before we dive into reading this book, I want to talk a little bit about what kind of book this is. Before I start, just take a look at the first at that front cover. Tell me, do you think this book is a fiction book, meaning it's a story with made up characters? Or do you think it's a nonfiction book, a book that has facts in it and has information in it? Kind of like a teaching book. Think about that. Then let's take a look inside the book. So first of all, I'm going to give it away. This book is an informational text. This book, we're going to be learning about things and we're going to be learning about statues and monuments. Now, there's a lot of things in this book that will help us learn. We're going to see lots of pictures. We're going to see some maps, some charts. There's going to be some a table of contents that tells, we're, tells us about what we're going to read. So we're going to start by looking at some of that today. So here's our title page. Again, it says Statues and Monuments. And you notice at the bottom it says Table of Contents. There's words to think about, an introduction, chapter one, chapter two, the conclusion, and then the glossary and index. All things we can use to help us learn about the book. I'm going to go ahead and open up here. Today, we're going to start by going through the words to think about. So first of all, we've got a hero. Think about what you know about heroes. It says, this firefighter is a hero. He is fighting a forest fire. Then it says, history. Say history. Many paintings show important events from history. The next word is honor. Say honor. On Veterans Day, we honor soldiers who fought bravely. On our next page, we have the word huge. Say huge. This huge ship can carry thousands of people. First graders, think about this. What is something else that is huge? The next word is monument. Say monument. On our class trip, we visited the Washington Monument. Just in case you don't know, the Washington Monument is this tall, I think it's called an obelisk there. That's the Washington Monument. And then the third word, third word on this page is statue. Stay statue. This statue of Paul Bunyan is my favorite. And first graders, here in Minnesota, you can find lots of statues of Paul Bunyan because it's kind of from this area. All right, so the next page has our introduction. And I'm not gonna read this today, I'll read this on the next video. But I just want you to see how there's lots of pictures on these pages. And then some of our words that we talked about are highlighted, oh sorry, didn't point to it very well. They're highlighted, they're in bold type, meaning those are important words for us to know. If you look here, we've got captions. These are those words that tell about the picture. So I'll read this tomorrow, but you'll get to kind of see some more some more info, you'll get to see more tomorrow about our nonfiction book. 